Hi, I'm C.F. Lewis here with David Cody, theater editor for Time Out New York. David, let's talk about the Blue Man Group. By now, everybody's probably seen these blue-headed men, but what are they about? I, it's, you know, you're right. It's the show that, well, it's basically a 14-year-old show that started here in New York uh, off-Broadway. And it's, if you had told me, you know, 14 years ago that these guys, you know, who painted themselves blue and played around with marshmallows was going to be a, a tourist hit, I would never have believed you. But they become part of the culture. I mean, they were a running gag on that uh, TV sitcom Arrested Development, and they've appeared in, of course, Intel commercials. It's like 1980s New York performance art, but it's become this phenomenon where, you know, tourists and people from around the world want to see it. The show is sort of self-explanatory. It's these guys who are, who are painted blue with bald heads and sort of, you know, vaguely space outfits, sort of exploding paintballs, playing on tubes, making sort of a percussion music out of that, consuming large quantities of marshmallows and sort of disgorging them, you know, through tubes. In fact, the first show that they ran was called Tubes, and now they've introduced new material, so it's a sort of blue man group. But it's the same sort of, you know, strangeness that they're performing. Is there a musical background, or is it just all quiet? It's got kind of an industrial music background with percussion and electronic music. Definitely, you know, if, if anything, the music sounds like early, early 80s techno. It's sort of, if it dates itself, it sort of might in that respect. Yeah. Is there a target audience, or is it kind of everybody, just mass appeal? You can take anybody. It's a wordless spectacle, so any tourist can see it. I mean, you could take a kid who would probably be fascinated by it, you know, senior citizens. It's not on Broadway, but it's similar to, like, the way Cats ran for so long because he didn't necessarily have to know, you know, the lyrics or understand the language to, to enjoy the spectacle of it. So it's got a really broad international audience. Where is Blue Man Group playing? It's uh, playing at the Astor Place Theater downtown, which is uh, basically right across from the public theater and near a lot of the subways, so very central. But is New York the only venue in which you can see the Blue Man Group? No, uh, a couple of years ago they opened a version of it in Las Vegas. As you might imagine, it's a bigger scale there. They have uh, they even like built a theater for them, so uh, you can see them there if you happen to be in Las Vegas, or they have occasional touring shows as well. And you know, I might add though, when you go to the, see the original production at the Astor Place Theater, you know, it's not like a you know, even though they've been around, they're, they're a financial success and they've been around for 14 years. It's still a small, fairly intimate theater, so you can see it as it sort of, you know, might have been back in '91 when they opened. Well, David, thank you very much. Blue Man Group sounds like the show to see. And I'm going to paint myself blue, <laughs> get some black garb on, and perform myself. And you guys check it out yourselves.